Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss about the vibration parameters. Suppose there is a body of mass m at some static equilibrium position. If we apply some force in this direction, what happens? It moves to a new position. Right? But when it moves to a new position because of some restoration force, it comes back to its equilibrium position. But while coming back to the equilibrium position, it has got certain velocity due to which it overshoots and it moves to a new position. Now again when it goes to a new position because of the restoration force or because of some restoration, what happens? It moves in the opposite direction and Again, because it has got velocity, it overshoots and in this way, the vibration goes on. Again, we can take the example of a pendulum. So, this is the equilibrium position. Now, what happens if we apply some force? So, what happens? This pendulum, it swings from its mid position. And when it goes from its mid position, here it has got the maximum kinetic energy. So, when it moves to a new position, the kinetic energy gets converted into potential energy but because when it goes to its new position to one of the extreme positions there is some restoring force working some force which tries to bring it back to the equilibrium position so what happens it comes back to this position again the equilibrium position so again this potential energy it gets converted into kinetic energy but because it has got the kinetic energy at equilibrium position that means it has got some velocity it overshoots to a new position where again this kinetic energy converts to potential energy and the restoration force it brings it back to the equilibrium position and if there is no friction the cycle goes on so what this restoration force is so this restoration force is the force which is trying to bring back the body to its equilibrium position so in case of pendulum it is the gravity which is acting as the restoring force and in case of these masses let's say the spring it acts as the restoring force component the elasticity is the or the spring force so to describe the parameters of vibrating system let us first understand what are the lambda masses right so while describing any uh, you know physical system while describing the behavior of any physical system what exactly we do we simplify the physical system into a system which has got certain entities which are the approximation of the physical system or its components in order to study the behavior of system under certain circumstances because uh, while studying anything you know mathematically or theoretically it is not possible to take into account all the factors therefore we always say that we are doing the approximation of the real physical system so let's suppose there is a cantilever beam with some mass m right with some uh, uh, fixed with some mass m you know with okay so if i want to convert the system into a lump system what will it look like it will consist of a mass m which is the inertia element and this inertia element is basically the rigid body and this rigid body is something which can gain or lose the kinetic energy because when we talk about this rigid body the newton second law of motion applies on it that whatever is the force that is being applied on the system right that is force is equal to mass into acceleration so if this is the mass of the body this mass is basically the approximation of the mass of the of this whole system now if there is this fixed mass or if there is some rotor let's assume so the mass of this rotor is much larger in comparison to the beam so therefore we we can you know uh, ignore the mass of the beam and, and we can say that the in the approximation part or in the lump system the whole mass of the system can be considered as this small m so whenever work is being done on the mass that is stored in the form of kinetic energy in this inertia element right so whenever there is change in velocity what exactly is happening this rigid body it can gain or lose kinetic energy similarly the case of pendulum again what was happening when the deflection was taking place or when we just pushed it 
and when it started moving from the equilibrium position it was losing its kinetic energy which got converted into potential energy again coming back it started gaining kinetic energy why because of the change in velocity of the body so whenever there is change in velocity there is change in kinetic energy and that is being stored or lost by the body and this rigid body is called as the inertia element so restoring element we have already discussed is the element which is trying to bring back the body back to its equilibrium position right so we usually consider springs as the restoring elements what we are trying to create we are trying to create a lumped system which is the approximation of the practical or the real uh, world example or any problem so why we take springs because we can assume springs to have the negligible mass and negligible damping that means they are not dissipating any sort of energy neither they are storing it nor they are dissipating it so they have negligible mass and damping that is why we assume springs as the restoring elements now if you uh, if you think of some examples the helical coil springs they are used in pens pencil staplers the suspension of vehicle or any elastic or any deformable body such as a cable beam shaft they can be considered as the spring if you here look at this example of a cantilever which is connected to a mass right at the end so what exactly happens when some force is being applied on this it undergoes some deflection so and if we try to make the lump system for this what exactly is this weight is the inertia body right the rigid body which is storing the kinetic energy and losing the kinetic energy with change in velocity and this beam because this is the elastic body this beam is considered as the restoring element which is the spring with some spring stiffness now these restoring elements they may be gravity based or elasticity based no matter the motion is linear or angular right so elasticity based this one this example you can see this is an elasticity based restoring element which is the spring and the springs may be the linear springs or the torsional springs for torsional movements or the restoring element can also be gravity as we saw in the case of a pendulum so whatever is the change in uh, actual length of the uh, system right so this that is related to force and we can say that force is equal to the restoring force is equal to k into x where k is the spring stiffness and x is the displacement of the restoring element or we can also see the elongation or the reduction right so what here what we are doing we are actually applying the newton's third law of motion where we say that restoring force is actually the reaction which is opposite to the applied force and what is its function it is trying to bring the body back to its original or the equilibrium or the free length position because what is happening with the application of force some elongation or reduction is taking place so this restoring force or this restoring element is trying to bring the body back so it is actually working as the reaction opposite to the force applied on the body now the damping element as the name suggests so this is the damping element right in this whole system we have talked about the restoring element we have talked about the inertia element so damping element is basically the element which is converting the vibrational energy into heat or sound right so as a name such as damper is a device that is depressing or deadening the effect of the vibrational energy right here we have taken two example let's take the example of a door if you remember there are you know dampers attached at the top of the door so if you you know slam a door very quickly so what will happen initially the door will close fastly and then it will slow down why because whatever the energy the you gave to the door while slamming it it gets dissipated because of this damper right or we can take the example of the shock absorbers in case of the vehicle right in the suspension system so what exactly these dampers are doing they are reducing the effect of the vibrational energy by converting them gradually to heat or sound 
so even though this amount is very small it is its consideration is important while talking about the vibration systems now damping elements can be of different types the one is the viscous damping right so whenever the system is working in a fluid medium that fluid medium can be air water oil or gas so when the resistance is offered by the fluid that is the viscous damping right and whatever is the dissipated energy in the viscous damping or in a fluid medium it depends on the size and shape of the body viscosity of the fluid frequency and the velocity of the vibrating body for example if you remember the fluid flow around a piston in the cylinder right or the fluid film between two sliding surfaces so what exactly is happening they are dissipating the energy the vibrational energy in a fluid medium now there is another damping which is the coulomb damping or the dry friction damping because of the rubbing surfaces now this damping is caused by the friction between rubbing surfaces in case the surfaces are dry or the lubrication is not sufficient it can also be because of the material or the solid and it is called so also called as the steretic damping so whenever a material is deformed the energy is absorbed or dissipated by the material so we can take the example of rubbing of grain so what exactly happens when the grains are rubbed the energy is dissipated right so that is called as the material damping 